All right, welcome back, grade 12s. Welcome back to your video classroom, grade 12s. In today's lesson, we will introduce logarithms in section 8.1, page 372 of your textbook. In this section, we're going to focus on demonstrating that the logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. We'll be sketching the graph of y equals log base c of x, where c is greater than 0 and c is not equal to 1. We'll explain the relationship between logarithms and exponents. We'll express the logarithmic function as an exponential function and vice versa. And we'll be evaluating logarithms. Okay, so for exponential functions like y is equal to c to the power of x, the inverse is x is equal to c to the y. Remember that with the inverse, we just switch x and y. y is equal to log base c of x. This, y equals log base c of x, and x is equal to c to the power of y, those are the same thing. These are equal. As long as c is greater than 0 and c is not equal to 1. So the base of the logarithm here must be positive, but it can't be 1. In fact, we can look at this and say that log base c of x, which is equal to y, and c to the power of y equal to x have some things in common. This is our exponent, and these are the bases, and this part here is actually called the argument. Okay, so in, in example one we're going to evaluate logarithms. Our first example is log base 7 of 49. Now, in order to evaluate um, logs like this, it's useful to change them into exponential form. So if we know that log base 7 to 49 is equal to x, let's say, then we can say, based on what we've seen, that 7 to the x is equal to 49. And 49, we know, is 7 squared. That means 7 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of 2, and since the bases are equal, like we've done before, then we can say that the exponents are equal. So x must be equal to 2. In other words, we can say that log base 7 of 49 is equal to 2. And 2 is the exponent on 7 that gives us 49. Here's another example. If I have log base 6 of 1 equal to x, then we can figure out what x is by saying that 6 to the x is equal to 1. Now, the only thing that happened, that the only exponent that we can raise 6 to that gives us 1 would be 6 to the 0. That means x is equal to 0. I could have also gone 6 to the x is equal to 6 to the 0, therefore x is equal to 0. So, and this is an important property, log base 6 of 1 is equal to 0. And in fact, log base anything, as long as it meets our restrictions, c being greater than 0 and c not equal to 1, log base anything of 1 will always be equal to 0. Third example, so c is log of 0 0.001. Now you'll notice there's no base here, and that's because this is a common log. And for the common log, the base is always 10. That means that log uh, of 0 0.001 is like saying log base 10 of 0 0.001 is equal to x. That means 10 to the x is equal to 0 0.001, or 10 to the x is equal to, now 0 0.001, that's 1 thousandth or 10 to the x is equal to 10 to the negative 3. So that means x equals negative 3. 
we can say then that log of 0 0.001 is equal to negative 3. And take a look here at this. That means that my decimal went back 1, 2, 3 spots. Okay. All right, and D, log base 2 of the square root of 8. So that means, and if we say that that's equal to x, we want to evaluate it, then we can say that 2 to the x is equal to the square root of 8. Or 2 to the x is equal to 2 cubed to the 1 half. 2 cubed being the 8, and the 1 half being the square root, the second root of 8. If we apply our exponent laws, we get 2 to the 3 halves, so x must be equal to 3 halves, or 3 over 2. That means, then, that log base 2 of the square root of 8 is equal to 3 over 2. Now, here's some that you can try. So copy these down, pause the video, evaluate, and then come back and check out the solutions. So the ones I want you to evaluate are the following. Log base 2 of 32 log base 9 of the fifth root of 81, log of 1 million, that's a common log, and log base 3 of 9 times the square root of 3, or 9 root 3. So once again, copy these down, pause the video, and then come back and check the solutions.